Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today we will speak about Dynama. You are interesting Dynama, I know that. So we will uh, start to speak about how to use the Dynama in Python and create for example the holes from the zero no holes and the biggest one and how we can use it in our model. For example, we will create some model like this and I will share with you this script you can download it below this video. So let's start. And now I switch to the Revit file. As you see, here is my the form in the left side and the right side the Dynamo script. As I say, Dynamo script you can find in uh, in the link below this video. So what about this one? So you should create the panel. How we can create the panel? I will start from the scratch and we will apply this script to create, for example, uh, this, the holes. As you can see here, the zero, it's not actually zero, this is pretty smallest one and here the biggest one. So let's create from the uh, scratch one and the apply this uh, script. And as you understand, first thing, we should create the new family. So let's, I will say no, and I will go to the file and I'll create the new family, new family. Uh, no, I don't wanna save this project and let's find the, we need the panel. So this is the panel pattern based, we no need that. I will use the other one, the data panel. No, I need just panel, so curtain wall panel, here we are. Uh, let's use it and let's open up. Uh, here we are, uh, let's use the extrusion. And we will create some simple, some simple panel. I will use again command D I, like between that one, that one. So we need to do some preparation of that one. Uh, I will use again D I to understand. Uh huh. This is uh, pretty enough. So let's uh, let's say okay. So what I'm gonna do now? Now I will uh, lock this thing and this thing. Uh, let's go to the exterior view and we will extrude till this line and lock it. And let's lock this one line too. Okay, awesome. So we created, we already created our panel. Now we need to create some hole or whatever you want. We just, we just need some one parameter. I will use again extrusion, I will use this cycle and I will create the hole like this. Why not? And uh, now the my radius is here and let's create the new parameter and call it R and let's make it instance. Okay, okay, and again, okay. So now I want to uh, actually, hmm, what I want to do actually? Nothing actually. Uh, let's go to the 3D and I will change the view, for example, to constraint colors and we can see this is the geometry but I want to uh, turn it to the void. So let's turn it to the void and I will bit extrude. And first I will align this line to this one and lock it. And that one to that one and again lock it. So what I'm gonna do now, now I want to join these two materials. Oh, so not join, cut this one from this one. And we get our cycle. But it's not finished. Let's go to the uh, some mm, I not remember exterior view, right? Uh, click on that, edit extrusion, and now we need to uh, switch on on under the graphic center mark visible. Let's do it. And now wow, our mark is here. Let's use the common di because I want to make this uh, the cycle exactly on the middle. So let's make the same thing here. Make sure you choose your center. Oh, I did some wrong. You can see this the day I get zero. So now everything okay, equal. And let's say okay. So now it's exactly on the zero. So uh, let's create the new project because I already have the new project. Uh, let's create the new project. Uh, any templates doesn't matter. Let's create the curtain wall like this. It's 25 meter, but okay, this is enough, I think. No, actually, it's too much. Let's go to the inside the settings, and I will make, for example, um, 
fixed distance 600 by 600. Why not? 600 by 600. And let's say OK. I will get something like this. But actually, it's really so big. Let's make it smaller. Something like that. And now we need to load uh, load up here the our panel. Let's do it. Load the project. Project 1 here. Let's go back to 3D. And now I will change all the panels to the my panels with this hole. So you can do it here. Curtain panel. And let's find our curtain panel. This is family 1. Let's do it. And nothing here. You know why? Because uh, because our panel is too big and our hole is too sm uh, actually also too big. So what we can do? Uh, I can f I can uh, recommend you uh, one way to to uh, prepare that one. Let's make R um, less than six hundred because our panel it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's eight hundred or oh, seven uh, seven <laughs> it's six hundred. Sorry. <laughs> Let's load it again to the project and don't forget override existing version and parameter value. So let's go to 3D again and let's change the panels again. And now everything will be OK. Here we are. Let's say OK. And here are the our panels. As you see, it's really big. So let's change the our panels. I want to change it from 300 to, for example, 200. Why not? And you can see 200 this will be OK for us. Let's change all these panels again to this parameter. I want to change to 100. 150 it will be okay let's load it up project override existing let's go here and now you can see everything okay and now i want to delete all the uh, things what uh, you can see here right so let's go here and what we can do uh function exterior interior okay okay here the everything okay Here yeah, everything okay. So what we can do? The grid. <laughs> okay, let's leave it like that. What's going on here? Beginning and I will do from the center. And here I will do from the center too. Okay, awesome. So and now we are able to apply our script. As you can see now everything same i mean the all the holes it's same so let's change that that thing let's go to the end dynamo you can find it under the management tab and let's let's uh, open up our dynamo just a few second okay and let's use our array so i already have it you can open and open array so here the my script I actually you don't need that one i will delete that one and you don't need that one and that one so i will leave like that so what we know what we need now we need to find the some view for example i think it will be north view let's check it out mm -hmm. it will be north view and you here should uh, select the north view where is the north view here okay here everything okay you can see the curtain panels okay and here the python script you can see the python script uh, i will uh, i will make the quick overview later on in the end of this this video but uh, what you need actually you you should have the python script i mean the python package you will go to the search for the package and find the Python one if you don't have if you uh, don't know do you have the Python or no you can check it like this right click here and write the Python if you will get this Python script so everything okay if don't just download the some packages okay so uh, let's apply our script and we will see how it's working so this is my panels and let's run Just few seconds, we get the our numbers. You can see it here. And as you can see, from the zero to the biggest one. This is really cool, right? So you can use any shape, but the most important thing, you should find some view where it will be flat.
So it's uh, better to use the north view or the south view. Just my recommend for that one. Because the Python just uh, understand on this view, for example, here the zero and here the biggest one and working like this. Okay, so let's go to 3D and let's check what we get. Actually, you can see already what we get. This is really pretty cool, I think. So, and don't wait, go to the link below and download it. It's for free, guys. It's a gift for you. And now I will uh, do the quick overview of what we have inside this Python script, to whom it's interesting. So let's see what's inside in our magic uh, Dynamo script. Actually nothing. So what is uh, here? The category, I'm just taking the, my curtain panels, you can see here, right? And after that, I am just select uh, all elements of category. It means I want to take the all curtain panels and uh, turn it to the elements. And you can see that here it's my all the my curtain panels. Actually, you can uh, change this one to the selected type. So you will select the curtain panel and after that you will get the panels what you want change. But now I'm using the all my panels in my, uh, in my project. Okay, so the next, this is only the view script. So I'm selected the view. And here the Python script. This is heart of our uh, script, uh, of our magic tool. So let's go inside. If you know the Python, I think you already understand how it's working. If don't, uh, I will try to make the quick overview. Okay, the here it's the like uh, uh, we are taking the some things from the Revit. This is API, API from the Revit. Uh, here the, we mm, creating um, uh, how to say it we are creating the first data uh, and we create we are starting to using the in so what does mean in in the parameters who which comes uh, from our dynamo from the our curtain panels here you can see it's in zero. Okay, the other one, uh, this is you can just uh, skip it because this is my list of the mm, numbers. Uh, I mean, like uh, the numbers of the changing, like 20 millimeters and going on, going on. Here it's only uh, math and nothing much. And most important, the parameters it's here. So uh, here we're transferring like from the uh, from the elements from the left side to the uh, bottom uh, downside. Uh, I mean the from the zero to is from the maximum to smallest one. I will show you where is it. So from the smallest to the biggest one, and of course don't forget one more thing here, because the mm, rabbit actually working in the inch so if you are right here the uh, millimeters they will understand like you will you wrote here the mil uh, inches so uh, even if you are using the millimeters Revit working on the inches just don't forget about that and the value this is maximum of the I mean this is maximum millimeters what we have so this is 140 if you will change this parameter, for example, for 200, the maximum parameter will be 200. So, as you can see, this is really pretty simple uh, script. Anyway, you can uh, check it by yourself. I mean, uh, you can go and download it and check what, what's here. You can modify, do whatever you want. I'm just giving to you like a uh, uh, way to make some changes of your panels. Okay, guys, I think this is pretty it. Uh, I not will spend uh, your time. I hope you was enjoy it. And don't forget like this video, uh, spend your time, go to the my uh, Patreon, go to the Gumroad to support me. I will be happy and I will share with you as much as I can. So thank you and see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.